Oh, hey there, viewer. Nearly missed you. Uh, just a friendly reminder that you guys should like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's me, the Tramon himself, and I am back for another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the best right click, right click detection that I've ever made. So, um, and I'm pretty sure it's one of the best so far. The only right click detection that would actually be better would be the bundles that are supposed to be coming to Minecraft soon. They should have released, but you know, they still haven't. But once they do, they will become the best right click detection by far. But before then, we still have to live with other alternatives. And one of these alternatives is the crossbow. So yeah, as you can see, every time I shoot, it will go ahead and um, change my example GUIs. It's not actual GUIs you'd probably integrate to a server, but you know. Um, and you can have a, I don't know how much is the maximum, but you can in theory have like a couple thousand of these different items that all do different things are 100% multiplayer friendly and I've already tested the multiplayer friendly but none of my friends are online so that's sad but anyway um as you can see that's how simple it is um also there is a bit of an issue of having multiple of these items in your inventory at once I do have a solution which I will share at the end of the video but anyway um so let's let's get into the commands I guess uh, as you can see here, it will detect the arrow that the player has shot, right? So let's actually quickly go into survival real quick. Um, I haven't really started the commands here, but uh, as you can see, I have no arrows in my inventory. If I shoot the crossbow, as you can see, it immediately reloads and comes back as a normal crossbow item with an arrow in it. So this will clear any crossbow with the durability of nine that's what this nine here is for and only one of these crossbows and it executes from an arrow so and it will only do from that arrow to the nearest player so the, basically the person who shot the arrow the arrow will interact with that player so a huge thing for you guys to know when making this gui this is actually the issue that i was referring to um as you can see the durability does not change on the crossbow. I give myself a durability nine crossbow every single time. It will uh, constantly clear any of these items. So like, let's pretend you have like 10 of these exact, well not exact, but like 10 items that all use the same exact command basically. And in, it's in your inventory. If you interact with any of them, Basically the game will think or the commands will think that you're interacting with every singular one of these items in your inventory I do have a solution at the end of the video. So Just so that you know, this is more of just like the fastest version of this And if you do want to change uh, that then I recommend putting like quick charge and all those other enchantments on the, cr uh, the crossbow and yes, yeah, just so that the actual command will work better uh, for the solution that I have on the at the end of the video. So basically it's detecting if you have a crossbow with the durability of nine. So, and then it will go ahead and add uh, a, a GUI point. That's how I'm going to, what I'm gonna call this, to the nearest player from the arrow, of course. Everything has to happen from the arrow. And as you can see, this command block is very special. Uh, it will only work if it has cleared, uh, the arrow has cleared a crossbow out of the player's inventory. Then if this command works here, the, uh, the, the point thing, then this command will work. And what it will do is uh, place sound random dot toast at the nearest player uh, from the arrow. And then this, beacon sound uh, it's actually sun its favorite uh, sound combination if you guys didn't know and then it will load the structure gy1 which is just the crossbow with an arrow preloaded in it and it will make sure it doesn't destroy any blocks that's what this stuff does so it'll execute at the heads 
uh, the head of the player. And it will, it, this rotation doesn't matter at all. And then none, so like it doesn't shift on the x or y axis. And then true false, so that means that it won't destroy any blocks around. So yeah, that's how that is. And um, yeah. And now it will then kill the arrow. That's just some basic commands. It's nothing really too complicated. So as long as it can clear the player off of that crossbow, then um, it will replenish the crossbow and do literally everything that you specify in it. So you can literally make this any type of GUI if you wanted it to be. But as I already mentioned, when you shoot a crossbow, it doesn't change durability, but if you load a crossbow, then it will change durability. So that's kind of a little bit of an issue. And of course, I have the solution at the very end of the video. So now, it, this will go ahead and stop sounds at a crossbow loading middle. And there's also one for the quick charge. Uh, it's, it's just not much different than this. And then this is just, it, this is just basically stopping all the crossbow sound effects that are supposed to be happening so and then uh it will go ahead and execute at a bracket scores equals gy uh one and then it will title raw the, uh, that player or, or execute off of that player to title raw themselves with action bar and then uh pineapple i just kind of put some random ones it's the same thing for all of them i just changed the text and the color i guess i'll just go over each one so that you guys can see the color so that's that and then when we reach four it just says off and then when we reach the end it will set um the player's gy points to zero so that's just basically the whole command it's not very complicated because I didn't try to make it complicated. Now, my solution to the issue would be to have an arrow permanently in one of the slots of the player's inventory. And what would happen is all of the crossbows would be one durability down. So this command, it let's pretend this one still says not, right? So basically it clears the cross, uh, executes off of the arrow to clear from a crossbow that has the durability of nine. So basically, I would have a crossbow with a durability of eight and an arrow. And you know, there's other different crossbows that are one level lower than the command is clearing. So then th when this crossbow was would be to interact, so you'd have to drag out the whole crossbow. So it'd be like the whole dragging effect. Uh, I think it's, I don't know, if, like the loading effect, so. I can't, bro, okay. I have a broken right click button, but anyway, so as you can see, this is what I mean. As you can see, actually, it, it, this is what I meant by the issue. As you can see, a crossbow that has nothing to do with anything is interacting with one that does have stuff that it's doing. That's what I meant. And so you just drag out the crossbow and then it will, then you shoot it. And this is where the quick charge would come in. And then it, this specific crossbow, this interactable item, will do the command script. It would have to replenish the arrow every single time, and it will have to, you'd probably have to put quick charge on it. And so yeah, that's basically the whole thing. And obviously, before you uh, save the structure, you should rename the item. I do have a way of locking the item in the player's inventory without using the uh, lock uh, item or lock an inventory thing. This is what I mean by that, like without having to use this. It's a long thing, which is really annoying to use because then you can't name the item or add enchantments to it. I have a way of doing that. You just basically have to test when the player drops it and then just give it back to them using a structure. But that's basically it. Um, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video and found it entertaining and at least somewhat helpful. And I wish you the best of luck with making your servers or whatever you're doing with this interactable item. Um, uh, if you do use this, I highly recommend using my 
fixed method. Um, if you do want to use this one for just like how quick it is, because you just spam right click, right? Then what you would want to do is you'd want to uh, try and think of exactly what to say. Um, then you would want to then you'd want to just uh, make it so that you only the player would only have like if it okay if the player's at spawn they would only have one singular item instead of multiple because then it would just activate every single one of those items but yeah that's basically it and i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace